Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Apple Monitor here, and judging by my screen, you can see that some stuff is up on Apple.com, and you probably know this, but this is kind of a delayed video because I wanted to wait till I got in my dad's house, which has my Mac desktop, which is my precious iMac that has the cool video editing software so I can make you guys these cool, cool videos. Fortunately, Windows is the one downside that you do not get these cool video editing softwares like you have on the Mac. That is one reason I like the Mac better than Windows in some scenarios. Anyways, let's just get started. So as you can see, when you come to Apple.com, I'm just going to refresh the page to show you guys that OS X Lion is now released and you can pick it up from the Mac App Store for just $30. I think the reason that Apple did this is so that if you want to pirate it, you just think to yourself, oh, well, it's only $30. I might as well get the stock Apple version and possibly get a few bugs with the torrented version. I think that was a really good thing on Apple's part. And just some facts here. Within the first 24 hours, Apple actually did sell 1 million copies of OXS Line, the fastest selling Mac operating system in history. But if you think about it, it's only like $30 million, which is like change for Apple. So that's not really much of revenue. Anyways, let's just get started. So first you got the new Mac Mini. These have the Intel Core i5, i7s, and have the Thunderbolt. They still start at $599, and as you can see, there is no disk drive. Apple is trying to lose a dependency for disk drive. The computers that still contain it are the iMacs and the MacBook Pros, and I'll talk about why not the MacBooks in a second. But I'm just going to show you guys the page where you can buy some. So first you got your 2.3 gigahertz configuration with a 500 gigabyte hard drive. It is not solid state, of course. You got your Intel HD Graphics 3000, and must I mention, these all do come preloaded with OS X Lion. Then you got your 2.5 gigahertz with 500 gigabytes, 4 gigs of memory, 500 gigabyte hard drive, AMD Radeon HD 6630M, and OS X Line. And should I mention the one before only had 2 gigs of memory, and that's 600 and 800. Then you got a server, which is the server that you can get for the Mac Mini, and it's 2.0 gigahertz, dual 500 gigs, 4 gigs of memory, Intel HD Graphics 3000, etc. That is pretty much it, guys. And here's a quick comparison thing. And these do actually ship starting today, so it's really, really, really cool. So these new MacBook Airs actually do start from $1,000 or $999. But let me just show you guys the configurations. So they are all still clocked at 1.6 gigahertz, unless you go higher up, then it'll be 1.7. But those are only the 13-inch models. The base price is $999. You got 1.6 dual core Intel Core i5 processor, 2 gigs of memory, and 64 gigabyte flash storage, which is a solid state drive. Then one level higher, you got the 128 gigs, which is double the hard drive space of the old one. It is $1,200, and it's still 1.6 gigahertz i5 processor, now 4 gigs of memory instead of 2 in the Intel HD Graphics 3000 like the other one. Then you got the 13-inch models, which there's only 2 as well as 11-inch. It's 1.7 gigahertz i5. 4 gigs of memory, 128 gig hard drive, Intel HD Graphics 3000, and the same thing for the next one, except you got a 256 gigabyte hard drive, and those are both $1,300 and $1,600, and education discount, I'm pretty sure it's like $100 cheaper. And a new thing, is you can see, look up here, what is missing? There's no more MacBook, because they just made it one MacBook Pro. They discontinued the MacBook, unless you're buying it for education purposes, and you can buy them refurbished, which they're pretty cheap. I am actually not surprised because now there's kind of not that big of a gap with the processor, so it'd be kind of hard to make like a lower end one with the MacBook Pro with that like a hundred, two hundred dollar price difference. It would just be not good. So they just discontinued it, and now you just got your MacBook Pro, which starts from twelve hundred dollars as it usually did. So guys, this is all for this video today, and please make sure to like me on Facebook. Please make sure to follow me on Twitter. Please, please, please add me to your circle on Google Plus. Of course, all links down below. Please go check out the stuff on Apple. I think you'll like it a lot. And look forward to some videos showing you how to put OS X Line on a bootable disk so you don't have to download it from the Mac App Store. And also, please subscribe and have a nice day.